Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in good old Heaven's Gate. So last time, we helped take out and purify some of the Shoshone Nation, but we have been trying to convert the populace in the Lone Trees to become a better religion, some might say. So, right now, if I train these guys, do I get more army XP? Because... Um, we might end up in a war with the Mormon Alliance, and they're not extremely weak. I'll let you know that for now. The Mormons, they're fairly strong, but let us move forward. Um, right now, you know, I could probably use this more than the civilian factory. By the will of God Almighty, the order has been passed down by the Prophet himself. Ver Lorin is to become a center of war and weapons manufacturing. From the mighty arms that shall flow from this land, shall we gain the strength needed to reshape the world. Amen. Amen. So, we're preparing for war, which is good. Um, and I need to requisition some of these soldiers. Basically all of them. Cool. Do that. Put you down here. I'll put you under someone else. Give half of you guys away. You know what? Um, do that. That'd be good. You six, come right there. Do that. You guys come down here and do that. And they need generals, but I will need to raise my conscription because I will need to increase the size of my divisions. And I need to really, really emphasize, at the current moment, guns. As much as I love... I'm going to keep the stuff on planes right now, though. I need many, many, many planes. Because we will need them. Mm, I guess in a moment you could probably get a couple more generals. Deacon Luis. Hello. With Tech Priest Elias. Hello there. And just move as fast as possible. That'll be good. We get about point zero six political power a day. Or not political power, army XP. The Shi have just declared war on broken coasts. Alright. And the Lone Trees probably won't be doing well because it looks like the Mormons have been called in. Oh boy. Oh boy. And the divisions are getting around here as fast as possible. I do want to warn you though. We are... Most of our divisions only use 10 combat width infantry. And the enemy uses 20 combat width. So that's not very good for us. So this is why I'm trying to spam out... A little bit of army XP in the current moment, even though we are making some puppet divisions that are pretty good. Clergymen, uh, we already are out of demo equipment, so we must move immedi immediately to guns. This will require 25 more infantry equipment per division, but does help us with our stats a little bit more. Now, 12 combat width isn't ideal, but it is a necessary evil. Give our guys just a little bit more time so that they can get used to the new weapons, new soldiers on the line, and then we shall go to war with them. Good. Now, I do not want to attack too much just yet. I will let you know. I have tried this a little bit earlier, and it, it went. We'll put it like that. Oh, and we want to call in our allies as well. You should be able to take this tile with 16 divisions there. That should be... Or actually, 23. If you don't, I will be quite disappointed. Uh, I'm not going to attack because our divisions aren't that strong. These motorized... They're not that strong, either. But I don't want to hurt my equipment levels. Yes, Lone Trees will suffer. And it's unfortunate. Besides, we'll be winning over there in the west as well. But we do have planes. So that's always good. Help them out down here. That'd be great. Do I have any spare planes, perhaps? I have ten. Good. Good. It's only ten. But it's better than none. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, there goes Mojave Raiders. Let's go ahead. Instead of civilian factories, as much as I love, 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 love civilian factories, let's do something else real quick. Well, it looks like we have to build it up here. Twin bridges. I need military factories. Badly. Very badly. And of course they're attacking me. Are we going to get... Vault City. What are you doing? 
Expel the Shoshone. Oh boy. That's not good. That is very, very not good. Um, they have quite a few divisions. That's okay. I could probably requisition their two soldiers they probably have down here. Yep, they got two. Well, this is not turning out very nice for us now, is it? Um, just kind of hold down there then. The Vault City's divisions, they're not extremely strong from what we can gather. Which is good. The divisions we requisitioned? Well, that spec ops is not bad. The infantry isn't very good, though. Do we have any other divisions I might be able to requisition? No. Oh, no. And how much longer do they have until they can go to war with us? Well, it looks like they're about halfway. They're out of manpower, which is good. We're holding, you know, decently wherever we need to hold. I could probably take off one division here and throw you down the line this direction. We have irrigation. Very nice. Let us get some backyard workshops next. Hmm. I need. I will need more manpower. That is an unfortunate part of our reality. Building the factories. Not bad. We need more guns. Just go ahead and retreat. I don't need you there. And I will probably have to uh, get Dick Shooter out. These divisions actually will hold probably okay-ish. So let's go ahead and deploy these early. Yeah, they're kind of weak. They're inexperienced. That's okay, though. It's a necessary evil. It is a necessary evil. Ah, uh, Tech Priest El Elias, you're doing okay. You should be able to win here, guys. Come on. Give it a little bit more attack. Oh, crap. They have six divisions there. You know what? Because we're going to be soon into a war, and you guys just refuse to do as I say. Are you still winning? Three, two, one. Let me assess. No. Well, kind of. Stop the attack. That's pathetic. That's why you don't attack with just infantry. Oh, but we do have a little bit more army XP that I could use. We have a few divisions down here. Not many. We have five. One, two, three, four, five. That's probably not going to be enough to hold, to be honest with you. If that's the case. So be it. So be it. Devout Theater 3. I do what I must. Not because I want to, but because I have to. Losses. We suffered none. 210, 257. Only 736. And they begin immediately attacking us in the north. Oh, this is exactly what I was planning for. Exactly. Oh, but the pharaohs. Oh, yes, I will gladly accept a thing of dynamite every month. Gladly. Uh, what? Your 10 combat width. I don't really want to move you. Cyclops tribes, Vault City, and... Pale Folk will go to war with us soon. Alright, Verloren Blessing, good. Another Arms Workshops is great. Let's get the rebirth of the gate, though. Heaven's Gate is reborn, and from all across the wasteland come those seeking wealth and power. Arms manufacturers travel great distances to sell to us. Caravans flow to our capital, and the first time in ages, the city is larger than the ruins that it was once built within. For the first time since the Great War, the city truly grows. We get two more arms and civilian workshops. Beautiful. How? You, what? You can't lose. How How would you be... Ah, uh, 20 combat width is a, is a dastardly thing. And it's not in your favor. Now, we could be continuing to do this. But this wouldn't prove any to be any useful. Um, you guys actually come up here. I want to help hold this front part of the front line. Because we're not... Because these planes are merely helping right here. Order nice. They should be actually be able to hold by themselves. Come down here then. And help these guys out. They'll probably need it. Air XP, it's definitely going up. Help hold the line still. We could go to war with Char for Charleston against um, Eastport, but uh, I don't think we really have the capabilities for that. How are you losing? That makes no sense. Seven divisions, which, you know, they're not the strongest, but aren't we, are we not entrenched? Like, yeah, we're fully entrenched, too. All right, planes, you got this. Come on, you got to do. It. give me a little bit more boost. Give me more efficiency, and give me... Eh, the battles up here aren't going too badly. 
not yet. They're not. We're not losing yet. So poly alphabet ciphers, very nice. Let us get some refined tools next. Uh oh. Return disputed territories. Loses stole our territory. Coor Hills. World tension decreased by five. Coor Hills. Wait, what? What? You have... Um, opinion of Vault City, Coor Hills, I get a work... Oh, I get a workshop. Wait, so what... What city is it? I, I guess I, I can't read or something? Stole our territory, opinion of Vault City, minus 75%. We get a civilian workshop... Well, tension decreased by five, which would be okay. Um, I have none of your territories, so I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Yeah, go eat a dick, Vault City. Ah, oh, go eat a religious dick. We need more planes over here. Holy cow! Even with all this damage we're doing, it is still not enough. Send you guys up north. I need you up here. Because these guys will break eventually, which is not ideal. Oh, we just got another military factory. Good. And we need more guns. God dang it. This is not good. Mercenary conscription, though. Better recovery rate. Let us get civilian draft for slightly less organization for more manpower. Come on, guys. I thought you wanted to go to war. Oh, that's not good either. Ah, uh, why must I have allies that cannot produce very much? Their losses should be much higher than ours. Oh, yeah. 2,000. That's good so far. Uh, New Canaan's lost a few. Iris has lost quite a bit. Good, good, good. And you're still on the border, which is fine. But I definitely have to raise conscription. You cannot lose. Do not lose this. You are not allowed to lose whatsoever. No, 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 no. Do it for the Lord. You're doing this for the Lord. Remember, kids and guys and everyone else here. Troll War and Declare War and Kimmel Station. That's a little unnerving. Not gonna lie. Uh, limited conscription. Yes, I have to get to that. Even though I would love to do stuff like in defense of the homeland. Bringer of civilization. Uh, local sheriff. Oh, yeah. That would be really good. Kind mercenary. Frontline operations. Yeah, we're going to lose that. Yeah, this is not going to go very well for us. Holy cow. Are you learning anything, Steam Maiden Mira? I mean, I need you to I need you to hold. Like I really, really, really need you to hold. Stop giving up territory. Uh breakthrough. No, we don't really need that. I do want mercy. Hmm. Archangel's Fury. Mercy sounds great, and we're trying to do a merciful playthrough, that, so that only makes sense. Get more soft attack immediately. Go ahead and just do not attack. We don't have the supplies for more attacks. If they spread them out, they can't probably do nearly as much damage, which would, which would be okay. Do not lose this. You cannot afford to lose this, because if they break through, we're pretty much screwed at that point pull you out. Uh, you're the six divisions. Come over uh, here. Right, you're here. Oh, you're all the way... Oh, why did I put you all the way over there? Uh, that would be better. At least Mother Magdalene's holding very well. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. We've got ourselves quite in a pickle. Ten combat width is definitely, definitely, definitely not ideal. Do they have a Shoshone? They have a little bit of manpower now, which is nice. They're doing robot stuff? Okay, interesting. Defense on core territory, I like to see. Alright. We could raise this, but I'm not going to now, just because I need to produce as many planes as possible in the current moment. Next up, industry. Industry. Fertilizer. Engineering. 
infantry stuff. I could do some support company stuff. Yeah, let's get some more soft attack on our demo, co demo companies. That would help out a little bit, probably. But seriously, are you, like, learning anything? Like, oh, you're an old guard. Oh. So, no, you're basically not learning anything. That's not good. You guys, however, are more and more entrenched, which is nice to see. You must have taken 5,000 losses. That's that's a, that's pretty appropriate. Lone Trees actually haven't given up yet, which is kind of nice. New Canaan, they've lost over 1,000 Mormons. Pitiful. Good, you guys come over here. You guys are actually holding over here for now, which is nice. The clergymen are still trying to show up. Uh, Tech Priest Elias is getting more and more skill. You're here just to serve as a distraction. Good. How are the planes holding? Planes are doing okay over there. You guys are doing... Hold. Just hold for now, because I need to produce more planes at the moment. And then I'll send you somewhere else. I'm going to let them keep doing that. Don't, you don't need to attack. Don't worry about it. You're just here to serve as kind of a, a distraction. Oh, and were we defending... Oh, it was a desert. So... But now we should be defending deserts and, of course, mountains. So if they're going to try to attack us, it's not going to go super well. Over here, Dickies. It's a desert. It's a mountain over here. Oh, no, that's a desert? That's a, those look like mountains, but whatever. Okay, whatever. And here, of course, is a desert. Down here is an urban area. They're getting there. And they've restarted another attack. Mother Magdalene, level 9 attack now. Level 6 General, I love it. She's an organizer, too. Ooh. Love it. St. Michael. You... You know what, for now? I'm gonna go with Ambusher, because we could use more max entrenchment. Oh, actually, since you're part up with... You're with the Maiden, you can get even more entrenchment now, which is really nice. Uh, this is probably still desert, which really sucks. Hold. You just gotta hold. That's all you have to do. Hold, 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 until you're old. Oh, but we are mobilizing, it looks like. Mission, conversion mission. The old countries aren't doing great. Oh, they definitely are not doing great. Oh, my goodness. Washington Brotherhood, please don't kill me. We can't afford that right now. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Send a couple divisions down that way. Good. Infantry equipment, we're still stockpiling stuff, which is nice. For the love of God, Mother, Mother Magdalene, you gotta hold. Oof. Point two a day for close air support. Ah, uh, but the infantry did show up here. And this is 12 combat width, which isn't great. But it should suffice for now. Backyard workshop's good. We can get more output. Great. Glorious. Um, planes. Eh. Robotics. Let's get some automation. That'll help with our production efficiency cap. It isn't much. But it's a start. You guys gotta all hold. Send like two of you guys right here. This is a very weak point in our line. Up here, we're holding very nicely. Mother Magdalene is causing mass casualties. She's almost a desert fox. A desert foxy Mother Magdalene. Yes! Now that's something I like to see. Oh, she's really good on logistics too. I want to get to Adaptable, since she's going to become a Desert Fox, hopefully soon-ish. Oh, they're piling more divisions over here, that's not good. But we're still producing more soldiers, which is nice, which is good and dandy. Conversion missions to the old countries would be okay to do. Ooh, get more technology. But I'll save up my political power for more defense in the meantime, for more division defense on core territory and max entrenchment. Or, actually... I could go to War Economy, but... Attack and Defense. Army XP time, Army XP gain. Max Planning, Division Defense on Core Territory. Yeah, definitely do Kanan Hughes. Cannon Hughes. Um, who the hell is going to guard this? Go ahead and attack for now. Give him like three seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, actually, who, who the hell is moving? Go on. Men are dying because we, you need, are too slow to move. Three, two, one. God dang it. Come on. Get out of here. Actually, you need to kill these guys off. Restart the planes. I need these guys. Oh, actually, I didn't, I didn't even stop you. 
Um, if that's the case, I'm going to send you back down here to help out. The Lone Trees, you're still holding on. I love it. You're doing great. Yeah, no, we have to win here. If we lose this, we might... That might be the end of, thing, end of things. And that wouldn't be very delightful. So, uh, let's do the Race to Heaven. The Race to Heaven is something of a misleading name for a cultural phenomenon that was established 30 years ago by an elderly preacher named Darren Shaw who challenged the young minds of the gate to reach for the heavens from his deathbed. While this was undoubtedly a philosophical statement, many young engineers believed it a challenge and invitation to rebuild the flying machines of old. Uh, oh, good. For free military factories. What do we need immediately? We're actually doing pretty well on stuff. In time, we might be able to raise uh, our divisions to be thicker, which is something I really hope for, at least for the divisions that we currently absolutely control. That being said, I need more planes. Good. We could get monoplane attackers, but two a week. We definitely need to raise that up a little bit more. Dang it, Pharaohs, I need that. I know you need that too, but gosh dang it. I'll hop out here right now immediately. Just a little bit more attack. A little bit more attack. Come on, get more attack in there. Immediately help attack too. We cannot lose this fight. Good. Get them out of there. Get them the heck out of there. We're getting attacked as well, which is fine. It's just That's just pretty normal for us. Uh, planes, yeah. Or no, ships. Those are ships. Those aren't planes. Oh my goodness, there goes Old Country. We try to convert them. We tried our best. Uh, refined tools, alright. Not bad. Hmm, land doctrine. Ooh, aerial warfare. That could help, maybe... Unobstructed piloting, maybe? Oh, come on. Can we actually beat back the enemy? We've been in such a defensive war this entire time. Uh, keep one for now, because they're going to attack us soon. Oh, Mira's almost a cavalry leader. No, she just became a desert fox and an organizer. Nice! Yes, we actually beat back the enemy in a single tile. Good. Good. Enemy losses. 11,000. We've lost 3,000. It's a good mixture of losses from us, actually. Lone Trees, I don't know how they're doing this, but they're still holding. Amazing. Iris, they're out of manpower. Top of the Lone Trees are running out. The Mormons themselves are running out, and Murtaugh is not really running out whatsoever. So, um, division attack on core territory. Kind mercenary, local sheriff. Hmm. Oh, this actually, more division organization will help us because we're going to lose organization anyways when we do our land doctrine. And now, we can defend pretty well in our own lands. With 5% more defense as well as attack. Volatile explosives, good. Grenade rifles? I think it's appropriate. So, that would be amazing. Oh, and go ahead and stop using one of these planes for now. I want to make sure at least we have a full stack of planes used, being used right now. Or trying to get rid of our deficit of stuff. Oh, good. You guys are down here. This is the only front where they can attack us. So actually, that's not bad. That's actually really good. With those divisions there, nice. Very nice. Oh, it, they didn't push us out. Good. Uh, very good. Mother Magdalene. Amazing. And how is Tech Priest Elias? You're going to get that, because you already have infantry def expert or infantry leader, which is good. They should not be able to bust you through there. Warrior equipment, very nice. Let us maybe get some more breakthrough, perhaps, now. That would be very useful. Very, very useful. Oh, they still want to break us here. Ah, Murtaugh. What a nation. But it seems like their attacks, while very fierce and aggressive, have... Failed. A little bit. At least a little bit. They're still attacking in select places. You know what? Let's get a field marshal here. Brother Cooper. Brother Koopa. Um, we need more command power, which will come in time. Good. You're holding. You're holding. We are holding at all fronts now. Holy cow. This is better than when I did it earlier today. Holy goodness. Um, anyways, you don't need to know about that. Let's see. The Valve Theater should be okay by themselves for now, maybe. If anything, if we wanted to attack, that's five divisions. Hmm. Well, it's either the, at, near Idaho Falls or down here. And you already have a full stack of 24. You know what, actually? 
I'm going to throw you over here as well. But I'm going to get rid of some of you guys. One, two, and then... I want to con control better divisions. And, you know, maybe Pharaoh will do something good with those divisions down there. Maybe if they do something stupid, I'll re requisition them and then move them somewhere else. Ah, an actual clergyman for us. Nice, nice. Good. Oh, maybe you should do patrols. Keep searching for enemy ships, because I'm sure they have plenty of ships around here. Oh, roll out technology? Yes, please. That would be good. Good. Keep throwing attacks at us. Oh, I was going to move one of these divisions away, so maybe they get attacked a little bit more. Ah, Deacon Luis. Oh, you're an infantry expert as well. Nice. Very nice, Mother Magdalene. Beautiful. Almost a desert fox leader. Oh, the race to heaven. Glorious. Wings of the angel or blessings of the angel. I prefer this because I love national spirits over than just a stock my stockpile of resources or goods. It is said that those who fly and have flown only do so because the angels and by extension God allows them to. If such is true, then it can be said that all of those among us who take to the skies do so with the blessing of those angels and the blessing of a beloved God. Let those who dare to soar to do so with the confidence that such faith can truly inspire. Beautiful. A civilian draft. Absolutely, we need a draft. And we shall finish our land auction with infiltration tactics for more recon, soft attack, and hard attack. Glorious. Our deficit of close air support is slowly, slowly going down, which is good, good, good. And the troll warrant are killing off Kamalt Station. Vault City, where are your huevos? Oh, wait, you're Lynette, you don't have any. Um, I was kind of wondering if you were going to attack me or not. Well, as far as we know, <laughs> Lynette doesn't have any. Hmm, beautiful. St. Michael. Oh, you're a logistics wizard. I think absolutely yes. But before I do that, let us promote another field marshal. Brother Cooper, thank you for joining us here. We need your wisdom along with St. Michael's wisdom as well. Good. Good. Actually, you know what? Give me all the Shoshone Nation stuff. No, I'll let, leave the Shoshone stuff there as well some of the Pharaoh stuff just because I might need to send, re requisition them. And send them to the front against Vault City. Because I'm pretty sure they have probably an indefinite war goal against us. Yes, they do. We have 40 factories. Nice. Did we just finish another military factory? I think so. Awesome. 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 Alright, Murtal. You have a little bit more manpower. Iris still has none. Lone Tree has none. The smaller our ally Lone Tree is out of manpower. They're still defending somehow so well. But the Mormons are broken in terms of manpower. I could attack, but where would a good attack take place? Well, really, you want to attack where the enemy is weak. But where is the enemy weak? That is a good question. Probably wherever we have planes. Automation? Nice. I love automation. Scavenge for stuff. We're not using vehicles, really. Oh, this would be handy. Stim packs. Yeah, definitely do that. Ah, oh, unobstructive piloting. Nice. Happy 2279, my good Christian friends. You know what? Throw another one over there. Maybe I can bait them into attacking me even more and more and more and more. It's... They're still attacking me here like crazy. Ah, oh, grenade rifles. A good tool of the Lord. Um, anything over here? Not really. Engineering, perhaps? Radar? Maybe. Come on, Mother Magdalene. I really want you to become a desert foxy mama. Uh, you have a lot of mountains. Oh, no wonder we're not losing here. It's all mountains. And we would be attacking into deserts. Which isn't bad. However, I must keep an eye on our manfare because I do want to raise our level or our combat with once again now if i do this we would require 25 more manpower per division 20 demo equipment and then five more infantry equipment 20 demo equipment can we afford that right now we have 321 divided by 20 is about 15 
15, 16 divisions, we would have a small deficit to start with. But in time, we could become more and more explosive. But do we have the manpower for that? I don't know, but let's do it anyways. Ah, oh, we have just enough manpower. Good. Oh, we have plenty of guns now. Plenty, plenty of guns. Let's do that. Good. Guerrilla tactics for more breakthrough. Perfect. Pl platoon training. Better recon. That might come in handy. What are my on my divisions? I might I'm not even using recon on these guys yet. Let us not do that yet then. Hmm. Really just chems and things that go kaboom. Air stuff? Sure. Oh, we have quite a bit of air XP actually. Oh, well, at least we did. A royal declared war on Uh oh. Port Maul. Oh, the Brotherhoods of Steel. The Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, that is going to be interesting to see what happens, how they're going to kill each other off. Yes, yes, yes. Next up, we shall do Ascension Achieved. Those who fly on our behalf fear not the fall nor the rise, for they know in their heart of hearts that their soul has already risen. Their bodies are but vessels for the will of the Lord, as they are the few who have risen high enough to see with the naked eye that which was the world God created, the ruined beauty of that which we squandered. Death is a mercy, and death in his name, in honor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively. Good. Awesome. They're still attacking me. And I love it. I love it. Get baited. Deacon Luis, you're doing a great job. You probably need that. Thank you. Oh, NCR is being a little aggressive. They have full stats down here, it seems like. Planes, though. Ah, oh, we have... We may have a small stockpile of planes already. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, we have three in reserve. Not anymore, but... Holy cow. Holy cow. We actually have a reserve of planes. You guys come up here. Um... You guys could help defend still. You guys are over K over here. I'm saying you actually come back up here. You guys come on down here. Actually come over here. Oh, the dam busters. Interesting. And you know what? We're gonna help attack here for now. But I will launch an attack right here. They are fairly weak. Well their divisions are probably not the best, that's okay. I want results down here. Lead with the infantry, and then follow up with everyone else. Can we win? Now, they are still fairly formidable. Just because they look weak doesn't mean they are weak, but with enough gods' planes in the air, with enough of them, and using 20 combat with infantry leading the charge with the clergymen, we should, we have the possibility of breaking through at least one more tile. At least one tile. Ah, they're still attacking us. Good, good, good. Come on, Cyclops tribes in Vault City. Come on, do something. Tech Priest Elias Elias has become a level 4 general. So proud of him. So proud. St. Michael, how about you become a logistics wizard? That would be great. Next up, Defense of the Homeland. Entrenchment and division defense or to supply and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and grab. Is there anything? Oh, head physician. I need. Oh, this stuff is so good. I want this stuff, man. Ah, oh, Archbishop Anderson. I really want that. War economy. How many factories do I have? Nine. That actually might prove to be just a little bit better to do now. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Another one going at the same time. That's good. That's good stuff. All right, and we will end the episode soon once I can. Oh, I can't take this tile, can I? Ah, oh, that is truly disappointing. Yes, we cannot do it. Okay, pharaohs. Please do not kill off your own manpower. Manpower? Manpower like that too much. They're still attacking over there. You guys over here are holding very well. And go ahead and hold. I do not know what the enemy is going to do next. But we must be ready no matter what happens. We're still out of demo equipment. We need more... Planes. Well, that was a good try, Eli. That was a very good try. Over here. Um, you know what? Let's continue baiting these enemies into attack. Good. 
Let us bait them. If we need the planes, we can bring them over at any time. Um, ah, Mexico's still on fire. Very nice. You guys are not looking super hot, which is good. Actually, I might be able to try and attack over here, maybe? I want to try at least one attack and try to get at, become at least successful in one attack. Take seven divisions and attack. I know our combat width isn't the greatest. Oh, that does not look like it's going to win whatsoever. Um, you know, don't even do that. We have to wait for more population. And when we get enough population, we can continue to increase the size of our divisions. But now we have armed pilgrims. Those who journey to Heaven's Gate have often traveled miles uncountable from across land and water against threat of death and ruination. They have seen with the naked eye what remains of God's kingdom on earth and know that every path that there is to be traveled. This knowledge above all other things gives us an advantage in times of strife and regrettable violence. And as a last thing that we shall do in this campaign, or at least not this campaign, but this episode, uh, actually, we can probably get some recon on these bad boys. That's only 15 manpower. If I were to th whoops, throw on another demo company, that'd be 25 per division. Another infantry would be 25, but something cheap could be recon we could throw on for a little bit more defense. Recon. You know what? Screw it. We're out of demo. Let's get some more guns in the hands of our soldiers. Great. That probably just ruined our line. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We have found ourselves. We haven't started anything, but we have found ourselves in the middle of a religious holy war, which might end in the next episode, but... Only time will tell, and the Lord only knows what will happen. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all tomorrow after you check out my Discord link below, and have a great, great day.